Hello, Manalore here. Today I have Aqua Predator, a wet hopped farmhouse ale from Off Color Brewing out of Chicago, Illinois. This brewery was started by um, John Laffler and where's his last name? Dave Bletner. They met in a brew school called Seibel Institute in 2008. They went on to different jobs. Uh, John worked for Goose Island Brewing for a while. Dave worked for Two Brothers. I think they had some other jobs before they decided to uh, work for Doug and Tracy at Metro Brewing and then learned a lot from them and started their own brewer, brewing in 2013. And their brewery is located at 29, I mean, sorry, 3925 West Dickens Avenue. It is in Chicago in the Logan Square neighborhood. Part of their overall goal is to focus on brewing styles of beer that were made before the German Bavarian purity law in the 15th century. Though there's not a lot about the company. They're pretty small. They have, according to Wikipedia, 11 employees. But what I thought was interesting about this particular beer is that, as far as I know, this is the first one that I can think of that I've had that was wet hopped. Wet hop refers to the state of the hops being used, that they're still fresh and full of moisture, versus most beers contain hops that have been dried and stored for year-round production. Hops are a seasoning for beer, adding unique flavors and aromas based on the variety of hop used. However, like the herbs used in the seasoning in, the, in your kitchen, hops are used stored and dried over long periods of time. Hops are only harvested once a year, uh, twice a year if you can get them from the southern hemisphere, which would be spring for us here, up in the north. And since uh, beer is made all year round, most hops are dried immediately after picking, of course, and stored. So the uniqueness is with the wet hops is that they are taken directly from the picker and used while they're still fresh and full of their natural moisture. Um, I'm reading this off of wiseacrebrewing.com. And they, for example, get theirs 24 hours shipped uh, from a place in Michigan. So you can imagine if you've ever used green herbs versus their typical dry herbs, there is a significant difference in flavor. Now, there's also an interesting note that dry hops actually refers to a particular point in the process, not hops, because... You're, typically all hops are dry. Dry hops is adding hops after uh, the beer is pretty much done and cooled. They add some more and they actually add hops at different points during the process. So that's kind of an interesting point on the production. So as you can see, it's a really nice amber color beer. It's got a very nice scent to it. Kind of a nice airy scent. It's just a hint of hoppiness to it. it starts out really smooth and then you get that little bit of hop at the end. It reminds me of as a uber light or uber smooth IPA almost. It's kind of a unique flavor in the sense that it 
it has that just a hint of that hoppy bitterness without being anywhere overly bitter in a nasty way but just enough so that you can identify the origin of the of that flavor it does have a little bit of a hoppiness uh, after taste to it so if, if you're a, a hop lover this would be a little bit on the light side but i think you'd really enjoy it as a casual beer as a just any old beer drinker this is still very good it's not excessive amount of hoppiness and bitterness so i think you would enjoy it too all right